Hello Beshies, I'm RBT, a Pinay Christian vlogger and today I'm doing a very raw reaction video on the recent happenings with regards to the COVID-19 crisis here in the Philippines. So, as I said, this is very very raw and in fact, uh, mula talaga akong like, pre-prepare na speech on hand but this is just me discussing what's happening lately and everyone, I hope you're doing okay, I hope you're doing fine, I hope you're not getting any cave in fever, tolong ako just with my laptop and just talking about what's happening right now and my personal reaction to it. And if you have any comments, you can just comment it down below kung ano yung personal reaction nyo, especially with the very, very latest, na, nag viral na naman na news natin, na isang senator, Senator Coco Pimentel, uh, committed a big blunder when he went inside the Makati Medical Center. When he was actually in quarantine, he was a person under investigation. And he had the symptoms. So, parang triple whammy para sa kanya yun. Kahit hindi niya pa alam yung test, pero the fact na he was supposed to be in quarantine, he was a PUI, but he still went around. Kahit yung SNR nga, lumabas ng statement na he was in their branch. When he was already supposed to be in quarantine. So, eto nga, dahil roto guys, sinatry ko siya na as much as possible, wala akong masyadong editing na gagawin dito. Konting-konti lang siguro, if ever meron nga. So, kahit may mga dead air, right? Please bear with me. So, um, generally, I'm a positive person. I'm an upbeat person. I try to see the good side to everyone and in everything. But this time, parang pati rin ako, isa rin ako sa mga taong nalungkot. Isa rin ako sa sobrang daming tao na um, uminit ng ulo kahit pa paano nung nalaman yung ganung news. And they even signed up yung change.org na petition na something should be done to him. This is not something that he should get away with. Like, we're not being vindictive here, but this is a crisis. And in the crisis such as this, um, examples of people in high positions who abuse their high position and think that they can get away with it. What kind of example are we putting up to those who are working hard to follow the rules and then they just can't get away with it. So, according pa nga to the version of his story, he said na he didn't know that he was positive for COVID when he went inside Makati Medical Center. It was only when he was already there na sinabi niya na the RITM called him and told him na he was positive for COVID-19. That is his version of the story and till now, wala pa rin confirmation or, to my knowledge, or denial yung RITM or DOH na sinasabi na, yes, we only informed him on said date. So, that kind of puts doubts on his story. And, sobrang daming meme. I know it's going around so much and you've seen it. It's funny and it's kind of um, a good thing, I guess, that we really see the funny side of the stories. But it's also sad na we have we are in this uh, position where we can only do memes and not do anything else. Diba? It's so sad. So, yun. And then, here are people who come out and who are saying na should show compassion just for humanitarian reasons since first niya na um, baby yun with his second wife, I believe. Yeah, because he was previously married and he had he has other children, but this was his first with his second wife. So they were begging for compassion. And then you see a senior citizen who's homeless being arrested because she broke curfew hours. And then you also see frontliners being fined five thousand pesos because bawal nga yung angkas. And you think that. Yes, definitely. Definitely, we need compassion. Definitely, we need to be to show humanitarian um, consideration to those. And not to someone who's knowledgeable about the rules, who can should not escape or should not be getting away with that. So, um, it was kind of funny, especially yung news ng um, frontliner na, yun nga, binigyan siya ng 5,000 na fine for sa pag-aangkas. Sinabi doon na, we will, I, they will 
yung Valenzuela LG will look into so that they can reduce the fine for frontliners. Okay, we will reduce the fine for frontliners who go out there who are compelled to work these dangerous times. And they don't have means of transportation. So instead of just doing away with the fines, they will reduce the fines for you. Okay, I hope you take a lot of consolation and you feel important and validated in your work when you hear that. It's just so ironic and kind of annoying. <laughs> and again and again and again, I've said this here in my channel several times. Um, this is a reminder to not just to them, but to everyone, to me as well. Na, you know, your intellect, your intelligence, your degree of education, your rank, your position definitely cannot be equated to your character. They're distinct and separate from that. And... Also, they do not mean that you have the traits of compassion, of justice, in your moral compass, and integrity. So, someone also pointed out that he's a bar top notcher, and he was insisting that he was the one cheated during the prior election, and Big Subiri was dishonest. And now we see here. Like a flipping of the sides, Migusubiri immediately um, announced on the national television that he has COVID-19, and he is on in uh, he is putting himself in quarantine, even though he's asymptomatic. And here, we have him going around during the time that he was supposed to be in quarantine. He was symptomatic, and he was person under investigation. So. Guys, sabi ko sa stories ko, this is the time for us to be very discerning. This is the time for us to take stock of whatever we see on social media and on the news going out. Um, this is the time for us to see in action our leaders, our politicians, and to really make an intelligent decision during the 2022 elections. Because yung 1,000 pesos or whatever amount they try to buy your vote with. This is where it matters in times like this. So this is me just trying to, you know, again, it's very evident on my face na I'm very frustrated with the way they handle this. He has the injustice of this all, the unfairness, the impunity um, with which he can get away because they are high up there. And everyone else, a very small percentage is high up there, and everyone else is here. And, of course, this is not confined just to the national level, but even in our local levels. I'm just ending this here with um, a quote that I posted on my Facebook. In his, this is talking about the story of Abraham. In his household, there was not one law for the master and another for the servant. A royal way for the rich and another for the poor. All were treated with justice and compassion as inheritors with him of the grace of life. So this is a reminder for me that as much as we want to look to our leaders for justice, fairness, and compassion. And we, you know, we're hoping that they have that because it is needed in their positions and it is needed for them to dispense their roles as administrators, as policy makers, as judges, as justices. They need to have that uh, guidance of course from the Lord for them to be men of integrity, be men of upright character, be, you know, they have the sense of justice and compassion. For the poor, for the rich, na equal yung treatment nila. But if we cannot find that there, that we can, let us not lose hope, but rather let us have faith that our Father in Heaven has that. So that is my consolation, that is my comfort, that is where I take um, comfort in uh, the God that I pray to. I am sure that He is just and I am sure that He sees the injustices. And one day, will. Um, render judgment according to the deeds that you have done. So, that's just a very short 
uh, that's just my reaction video for today. I hope that you like it. And if you like it, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you have other suggestions on any other topics that I can react to, feel free to leave a comment in my Instagram account or just comment down here below. And again, I hope that you stay happy, stay positive, stay blessed. Bye! Thank you for watching!